Apple, in search of creative ways to keep the customer tuned in and turned on, has a new product in the works, a tablet-sized computer that could change the way we listen to music. Bloomberg Sue Keenan is here with the latest, Sue. Well, Mark, as you know, one of the ways that Apple manages to maintain its buzz for creating new and exciting products is to deliver. And December is the scheduled launch date, possibly sooner, for a portable tablet-sized computer that, when combined with new content deals, could revolutionize the concept of portable entertainment devices. We've already used or gotten used to the iPod, the iTouch screen, iPhone, and all those other devices. Well, this would be a touch-sensitive 10-inch screen computer possibly connecting to the Internet and the Apple product store in the same way as the iPod Touch. Now, Apple is hoping to take its tablet computer where other rivals have failed, aiming at a multimedia revolution. Now, here's what we mean. One entertainment executive said the device would be great for watching movies. Book publishers are reportedly in talks with Apple about being included as part of an electronic reading device that would actually rival the Kindle and Sony Reader. And the key is with most of Apple's successful launches is the content, and that's where Apple Mark is promising some kind of wow factor. And, and Sue, you mentioned that Apple might change the way we listen to music. Didn't they do that already with the iPod? Exactly, but what many of us have gotten used to, particularly if you log on and download singles from the Apple's iTunes stores is just paying 99 cents for the one song you like. The big change Apple's trying to get here is all of us back into buying albums. According to the Financial Times, Apple's in talks with four of the largest record label companies to spur digital sales of digital albums, and they would do this by bundling interactive features with music downloads. So think about great lyrics, graphics and photos of your favorite artists all with an interactive bent to it. EMI Group, Sony Music, Warner Music, and Universal Music Mark are said to be in talks with Apple. Uh, Bloomberg, Sue Keenan joining us this afternoon. Sue, thanks.